In today's video, I'll be sculpting a minifigure for my Pandemic board game. The mini for today will be the Quarantine Specialist. I want to make this little mini as an easy beginner sculpting project, but I would also like to have cooler looking characters for my board game. To start with, I am mixing up some epoxy clay to sculpt my figure with. This is epoxy sculpt clay. Once I have a small amount mixed, I start by shaping some of the detail pieces to be added to the main sculpture. Notably, I made the gas mask, the filter pack, the mask that goes on her back, and the quarantine specialist's space. All of this was allowed to cure for about five to six hours. Next, I will shape the base for the quarantine specialist. Notice that I I'm also adding a dime to the base. This adds some bottom weight. Then I shape her hair and add this to her head. Then I will build the body and add the pre-made pieces to it. All of this is then allowed to cure overnight. Once cured, I use a steel punch to remove the sculpture from the base mold. Once I had it out of the mold, though, I noticed that the weighted base was too far off center. I removed it with a chisel and then reattached it in the correct location with freshly mixed epoxy clay. With this fixed, I can begin refining the shape with my files and knives. The figure is very similar in size to the original Meeple. This makes it easy to use in gameplay. The brown clay figure in the picture is just regular clay that I used to practice with before using the epoxy clay. Unfortunately, one of the gas mask canisters fell off, so I needed to glue it back on with some epoxy glue. With the carving and shaping complete, I prime my mini with white paint. This should help the other colors to stand out more later. Once the primer dries, I start painting the figure by adding green color to the base, and then by adding color to the rest of the figure. I'm trying to keep my color theme consistent, so I give the quarantine specialist a biohazard suit consistent with the character card. I'm trying to stay fairly true to the original character art on the card and on the box cover. Unfortunately, this green turned out a bit too dark. I would have liked to have used a lighter green. With the painting finished, I add a bit of packing tape to the bottom of the figure. This packing tape protects the bottom and makes cleanup later easier. Next, I glue the minifigure to a screw head with some white glue. This will let any excess epoxy drip off the figure when I coat it next. First though, I have to let the white glue dry overnight. The next day, I coat the figure with a thick coat of clear epoxy to protect it. The clear coat protects the mini since it will be handled as a game piece during play. Then, after curing, I remove the figure from the screw head and peel off the protective packing tape. With the packing tape removed, the minifigure is finished. Mm -hmm. 
I'll be making one of each of the seven characters for my Pandemic game, so stay tuned for more to come.